As scientists are still working on the answers to some of our biggest questions about Hendra, vaccination against the disease remains the most effective way to minimise the risk to horses and humans. But just how far should we push to reduce our risk of infection through vaccination? Discussion about mandatory vaccination has been heating up around the country. The idea that horses might require inoculation to enter events, or perhaps to even receive veterinary care, is an idea that has caused some controversy. Chairman of Equestrian Australia and equine veterinarian Dr Warwick Vale is crystal clear about the role that mandatory vaccination should play at horse events. I support mandatory vaccination at high-risk events. Um, and I think that the community will come to realise that the, that the single best tool for risk mitigation with this disease is vaccination. Racing Queensland recognises the protection that vaccine affords horses and the industry. And as a result of that, it will be something that does become mandatory across the industry. But in the meantime, we're encouraging all trainers to seriously consider taking up vaccination for their horses. Heaven forbid we would hate to have a, another case of Henry virus in a, in a racehorse. The uptake in our sport has been quite encouraging in the, in the sports that we've seen, especially in Queensland um, and New South Wales. But it's not at the level that I would like to see in terms of risk mitigation. From the public point of view, one of the issues is that they thought the vaccine was made sort of quickly and in short order. But in fact, that really wasn't the case. I mean, we've been studying the vaccine protein for, for nearly 13 years. The biggest challenge would be the implementation. It would be a massive job for your volunteer organisation to run an event of mandatory vaccination. Any organisation that is thinking about whether or not vaccination should be mandatory for their events just needs to think about what are the consequences of having a Hendra case in the middle of one of our events. I would like to live in an era where I don't have to worry about horses getting Hendra disease. I live in fear at the moment that that will occur at a horse event where members of the public are potentially exposed. One day uh, all horses will be just as a matter of course uh, when they're young just undergo a normal vaccination protocol with, against other diseases including Hendra. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. While the horse industry, veterinarians and horse owners appreciate the need to vaccinate, there is a perception that the cost of vaccination is a significant barrier. Opinion on this subject is mixed. It's too expensive. That's the number one reason in this area. Given the risk that um, it is to human life, I'd love to see um, some government funding towards vaccination. Um, maybe even it was just in targeted areas where we've had previous Hendra case, I think that could be very beneficial. The cost of the vaccine has definitely been a barrier for some, but I don't think it's a real barrier. I think, I think in, in, uh, that in time, people will realise the value of the, va of the vaccine. Having a horse involves expense. You know, there's the bumper sticker that says poverty is owning a horse. And I think Hendra virus vaccine should just become part and parcel of the day-to-day -day expense of having a horse. What one's got to realise is that we're talking about the public health safety when you're talking about uh, events. Uh, the public are involved. I think they're entitled to get to a show in, in an environment where we've taken every measure to ensure their safety. While people in the industry are dealing with horses on a daily basis, vets actually deal with sick horses on a daily basis. It's beholden on the industry, I think, to make workplaces safe if you've got that many people uh, working with horses, um, you know, those people need to be protected. I don't think you need um, to think about it very far to see that mandatory vaccination under those circumstances is one of the smartest uh, risk management policies with respect to Hendra that an organising committee could, could undertake. I wouldn't want to be a veterinarian at that event where I'd have to deal with a sick horse that had stayed overnight and, and then became symptomatic. I wouldn't have to deal with the stress of, it, of that disease affecting other horses in the stable complex. I wouldn't want to live with the legal and the other health and occupational health and safety issues that are raised by, by the spread of this disease. This is an endemic disease. It's not going away. The bats aren't going away. The bats have had the virus with them for who knows how long. The best way to protect the, ourselves and the best way to protect our horses is to have the horses vaccinated.